All right, room 53, we have some words of the day for unit 14. We actually have three words of the day. There was only one last week, so I didn't do that one. I decided to put it with the two for this week. So we're going to take a look at those words. We're going to talk about them, talk about what they mean. We're going to look at some other words that use the same vowel teams. Remember, we're doing O-U and O-W, making the ow sound. And then we will take a look at some sentences that we could use those words of the day in. All all right, let's get started. Our first word of the day is this one right here, T-O-W-E-R. What do you think this word is? All right, there's two different ways you could say it. Only one of them is correct. But you know O-W either says our or O, so you could say tower or tower. And tower makes more sense as we have heard of the word tower before. So the word tower can actually be an, a noun, a thing, like a tower as in a building, but it also can mean to um, be taller than everything else. Like he towers over everybody else. So it actually can be used as a verb as well. Right? Our first syllable is tau, and our second syllable is er. The tau is a D syllable because of our O-W, and the E-R is an R-controlled syllable because of the er sound in there. And then we want to go ahead and circle our vowel team, which is our O-W. Some other words that have O-W in it that make the ow sound are frown and rowdy. Wait, what does the word rowdy mean? Have you heard this word before? So rowdy means to be kind of rambunctious, crazy, a little energetic. Uh, you might have a group of people and say, wow, that's a rowdy group. They're usually loud. They're usually very uh, energetic and make a lot of noise. So we say rowdy when we want to describe a group of people or maybe even animals might be a little bit rowdy. All right. So for our sentence, this is a sentence that I came up with. The new tower was the tallest in the city. So I use tower as a noun in this sentence, and I want for you to think of a way that you could use the word tower in a sentence. You could also write it down if you want, or just come up with it in your head and say it out loud. Right? Mine would be the new tower was the tallest in the city. Our next word of the day is this guy right here. I already have the vowel team circled in this one, N-O-U-N. Okay, N-O-U-N. What word do we have here? Right, noun, excellent. Can you think of some words that are nouns? You have to remember what a noun is. You gotta think, think, think. What are some things that are nouns? I'm looking around and I see lots of nouns. I could say door, window, chair, table, books, plant, light, pillow. <laughs> the beanbag chair. So those are all nouns. Nouns are persons, uh, people, places, animals, and things. Uh, if we were to continue to mark this word, we would give it one scoop because it's one vowel sound, and it is a D syllable because it is a double vowel in it, that O-U, making the ow sound. Some other words that have our O-U in it that make the ow sound are loud, L-O-U-D. This is an adjective. It's a describing word. And then we can have this word right here. Anybody know what that word is? It's a tricky one. This word is lousy. Like when you're not feeling well or you didn't do well on something, you might describe it as lousy. Excellent. All right. So the noun I used in this sentence, I said a noun names a person, place, animal, or thing. So I actually use the word noun to give you the definition of what a noun is. See if you can come up with your own sentence using the word noun. You can say it out loud, you can think about it in your head, you could write it down. And let's take a look at our last word of the day. And it's this word, C-O-M-P-O-U-N-D. Do you know what this word is? It's a long one has two syllables. O-U says ow. What word do we have? Compound. Excellent. All right. So the word compound, our first syllable is com, C-O-M. Our second syllable is pound, right? The first, uh, we have our O-U in that second syllable, making the ow sound. Com is a closed syllable. Pound is a D-syllable, double vowel. 
And compound, we most typically hear this word when we're talking about compound words. So what are some compound words that you can come up with? Two words that come together to make a new word, like bathtub. What are some compound words that you could think of? Mailbox is a good one, yep. Cupcake, birthday, bedroom, excellent. Bathroom, mailman. Excellent. Bulldog. Yep. So many of them, right? Fireplace is another one. Excellent. Right. So I use it in my sentence. Butterfly and pancake are compound words. Compound means to bring together. Sometimes um, you might have something in construction called compound that they use to seal something up. And it's usually a mixture of maybe cement and water or some kind of uh, clay and water, and they make a compound. It's bringing things together. All right, so those are your words of the day for Unit 14. We have compound, tower, and noun. If you would like to do some more work with those words, you could come up with your own sentences with them or see if you can come up with any other words that have our ow sound. We are finishing up Unit 14 tomorrow with our dictation, and we will be moving on to Unit 15 and working with some other vowel teams. We'll be doing OO, UE, EW, and the other sound of OU. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.